This video is a response to a request from one of my patrons. Thank you so much to everybody who supports me and the channel in any way that you do it. Uh, but today, and for this video, thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. If you're interested, uh, you can go to my Patreon page. There's a link down uh, in the video description. And even a couple dollars a month really adds up. Well, you can see how much it adds up to <laughs> if you go to the Patreon page. The number's right there. Thanks again to the patrons. Let's get to the video. The point of this video is to tell you how to determine your copter's vertical CG. People want to know if their copter's CG is high or low, depending on where they place their battery. It can have certain flight effects. And the point of this video is not to t talk about those flight effects, because I think there's you could have a fairly deep discussion about that, and I don't want to get into it. But uh, suffice to say that the best place for your CG to be is as close as possible to your prop line is the thinking. The thinking is that if the CG is right in line with the props, then you'll get the best uh, aerobatic effects, okay? The best handling. So here's how you determine where your vertical CG is. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hang the copter by a prop tip. And actually I'm gonna hang it by two prop tips. So you see how I'm doing that, All right? And you're gonna look and you're gonna see whether the copter hangs level or whether it hangs tipped one way whether it hangs tipped the other way. So if it hangs straight up and down, perpendicular with the ground, then the CG is more or less exactly on the prop line. And it looks to me like my copter is tilted a little bit this way, just the tiniest bit, and it might be a little hard for you to see that depending on where uh, the camera angle is, but just eyeballing it here, it's tilted a little bit this way, and that means that the CG is below the prop line. Whereas if it was tilted this way, the CG would be above the prop line. Now let's go ahead and put a battery on there. Now that we put the battery on there, we can see that the copter is hanging more or less flat. And again, I'm not sure how well that's coming across in the video, but it's hanging more or less flat. And that's telling us that the CG is more or less exactly on the prop line. Now just for fun, I've put another battery on there to raise the CG even further and I hope that you can see that the copter is now hanging substantially uh, top down. That's indicating that it's top heavy. So because we're never very far off from the, uh, the CG, we're not going to get a huge amount of deflection. You really have to look at it very carefully and kind of let it hang. But it can indicate for you whether the copter is tipping towards the top, the CG is high, or tipping towards the bottom, the CG is low. I think what's interesting about this is that it looks on a copter like this, like the CG might be very high, but in fact, its CG is not that far off, right? And and you can do the same thing with a bat with a copter with an underslung battery, and you'll find that it it actually might be a little bit low, but the difference is really subtle. And I think some of the fuss about getting the CG exactly on the prop line. May, I mean, I don't know, maybe I do some flight testing and find out there's more to it than I thought. Some of that fuss may be a little bit of, uh, of, of concern over nothing, really. Uh, I think what's far more important than having the CG exactly on the prop line is centralizing the weight. Torque equals the length times the, the force, the weight, the pounds, but wait, foot pounds, right? The distance times the weight. So the further out you are from the center of gravity, the more force that the mass will apply, the more moment that it'll apply. So if your weight is relatively centralized, but not quite exactly lined up with the exact right spot, it won't have much of an effect. But the further out your weight is, the more it matters whether your CG is exactly perfect. By the way, here's a little bonus tip for you. How do you find your, uh, your, your horizontal CG? There's a very easy way to do it, and that is just put the copter on the edge of a table and move it forward, slightly, slightly, until it tips and that's it's right about there that point where it just balances there see so my CG is right about there it's just slightly behind the actual dead center whereas if I were to move the battery forward or maybe put my E camera on you can see uh, it's right about there so it's moved maybe maybe as much as a centimeter 
but pro not even quite a centimeter. Uh, you can see that battery placement, if you're worried about your battery placement, you're like, well, should I put it here or here? Mm -hmm. That difference of a few centimeters of battery placement just isn't going to affect the CG very much at all, at least not on my copter. Anyway, that's how you find your vertical CG. And of course, you can also do the same thing to find your front to back CG, but really, that's, that's pretty much always going to be dead center. There you go. Hope that's helpful. Thanks again to the patrons uh, who suggested this for supporting me. And as always, 